the wilderness. Who are these voices crying in the wilderness? Who are these voices that are not being heard? And who put them in the wilderness? Who placed them there? They are those that are vaccine injured or unvaccinated and able to work. Tens of thousands of Australians across Australia, even members of this house who have quietly said to me on the side how they've been damaged. I pray that they speak out. It didn't escape me yesterday that it was International Women's Day, United Nations International Women's Day, which was celebrated by this parliament with a breakfast and an address by the Prime Minister. This unfolding health and social disaster is disproportionately affecting women, many of whom they are not believed, they are told they're anxious, and they're told they are just hysterical. Such a massive untruth. So many people I've spoken to. Why so many women? Because they're the ones that worked in the mandated workforce. Why so many young men, young, fit, men like Jacob, who I spoke to yesterday, disabled for the rest of his days, it feels, for him at the moment. Many of the women, of course, are self-employed. So no income, no compensation, and no justice. Then at the other end of the spectrum, there are people like Ben and Hayden in Perth, both tradies, semi-professional sportsmen whose lives have been utterly ruined. Ben is about to lose his house because he can no longer afford to pay the mortgage. People losing jobs, homes unemployed, including now the carers of the injured. Jackie Stricker reporting lifeline calls increasing through the reef but with people with no money and feeling sick. In my office there were unemployed firefighters who haven't worked for for 17 months. Why? Because they are not vaccinated. They are stood down, but without pay. Our people have lost hope. They've lost control of their lives. And we put them out there. The National Cabinet made these decisions. And we are responsible because we are their elected members. The buck stops with us. We put these voices into the wilderness and it's up to us to call them back. I think the